Welcome to the Autosys training video. By the end of this video, you will learn about Autosys box jobs, its behavior during job executions. A box job in Autosys is a logical container that you can use to group related jobs. Grouping related jobs into a box makes managing, monitoring, and controlling complex workflows easier. Box job supports conditional execution, parallel and serial execution, and error handling of contained jobs. Some of the important features and rules of a box job are, a box can contain jobs of any job type. The box job does not execute anything directly. The jobs within the box execute and perform tasks per their job definition. And the contained jobs in the box run only once per box execution. When a box enters the running state, the status of all its jobs, including the child boxes, changes to activated, indicating that the jobs are eligible to run. Each contained job is analyzed for the start condition before execution. The box remains in the running state if there are jobs with an activated or running state. To enhance the learning experience, we will use an example of a fictitious bank called Hedmerl Bank and demonstrate how to create and manage box jobs in Autosys. Hedmerl Bank's IT operations team needed a reliable way to manage their end-of-day job sequence for the retail banking division. This sequence included transaction aggregation, balance computation, interest calculation, and report generation. These jobs were previously run manually and tracked individually, making monitoring difficult and increasing the risk of errors due to manual dependency handling. To resolve this, the team created a box job in Autosys. This box grouped all related jobs and enforced execution order through dependencies. Using box job, the entire process could be monitored as a single unit. If any job failed, operators could easily troubleshoot and rerun the impacted job within the box. This improved visibility, reduced manual effort, and ensured timely and accurate reporting across all branches. Let's enter our training environment and create a box job and assign a job to a box job from Web UI. Log in to the Autosys Web UI. Navigate to Quick Edit Interface and click Create. The Create Object dialog opens with the list of job types. Select the Autosys server from the Server drop-down field. In the Job section, Click the box icon. Autosys displays Create Box Job on the server page. In the Primary Details section, provide the box job name and a short description about the box job. Click Save Job to save the box job definition. Autosys successfully creates the box job and displays a confirmation message. Let's assign a job to a box job. Navigate to the Quick Edit interface. In the Search section, select the Autosys server in the Server field. Select Job as the type. Provide the job name in the Name field and click Go. Autosys displays the specified job in the Search Results section. Click the job name that you want to assign to a box job. The job opens in edit mode. In the properties section, click the general tab. Select the box job to which you want to assign the job from the box dropdown. Click save job. Autosys successfully updates the job definition and assigns the job to the selected box job. It also displays a confirmation message. Let's start the box job. Navigate to the Quick View interface. In the Search section, select the Autosys server in the Server field. Provide the box job name in the Name field and click Go. Autosys displays the specified job in the Search Results section. Expand the box job to view the associated child jobs. Check their status. 
scroll down to the job flow section. AutoSys displays the pictorial representation of the box job and the associated child jobs. To start the box job, select the box job, select start, and then click go. AutoSys displays a pop-up message asking for confirmation to start the box job. Click yes. If the start conditions are met, the box job starts execution. AutoSys also displays a message stating that the job has started successfully. Click refresh to check the current status of the box job. The box job name with its current status is displayed in the search results section. The status icon shows the status as running. Also in the job flow section, its current status is displayed. Double click the box job to view the child jobs. After completing the child jobs execution, AutoSys changes the status to success. Thank you for watching the training video.